good afternoon and uh, welcome to amrita lessons i'm extremely sorry for the delay of almost 8 minutes that has been mainly due to the technical stack and uh, i apologize on behalf of amrita vishwavidya pidam so welcome once again to all of you for this live program on the queries that you raised in the last couple of weeks regarding admissions to the amrita school of engineering before i do so i must uh, keep you informed that uh, we are having four campuses one in coimbatore one in bangalore one in amrutapuri and one in chennai the first question which we received was on the fee structure as to please tell me what is the fees amount for btech programs now if i have to tell you the fee structure the fee structure in the four campuses are different but for chennai and Coimbatore, the fee structure is three lakhs per annum, uh, followed by Bangalore, which is around two lakh sixty thousand per annum, and uh, for Amrutapuri, it is two lakh forty thousand per annum. This does not include uh, the caution deposit, which of course will be refunded when the student uh, leaves the institution. Uh, i would also like to keep you informed regarding the fees uh, or the hostel fees and the mess fees the hostel fees and the mess fees is also different in all the three campuses uh, at uh, amrutapuri it is the total fees which comes for both hostel and mess is 68900 and in bangalore it is 89000 and in coimbatore it is 97000 uh, but for chennai Uh, we uh, but for chennai uh, we could uh, confirm this fees however there could be uh, some changes as you join our institution in the month of june the hostel fees for chennai campus uh, would be published in the website uh, prior to the counseling so the first question has been answered on what the fee structure are for all the four campuses to repeat uh, amrutapuri it is 2 lakh 40000 per annum for bangalore it is 2 lakh 60000 per annum for coimbatore it is 3 lakhs and for chennai campus it's again 3 lakhs which does not include the uh, caution deposit uh, which is around 10000 rupees uh, which has to be paid at the time of joining the institution uh, which would be refunded at the time you leave the institution so that's all on the fee structure i move on to the next question there has been a very tricky question as to why is the fees Uh, between Coimbatore campus and the other two campuses, that is Bangalore and uh, Amrutapuri, vary. I agree with you that uh, you know I'm a, I'm in Coimbatore, the headquarters of Amrutha Vishwavidya Pidam. The teaching learning process in both these institutions are the same, but however, uh, if you look at the the campus, the infrastructure, it has a better advantage uh, in uh, in Coimbatore. compared to the other two campuses now it's very easy for me to explain what are the plus 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 in coimbatore but certainly i wish that uh, person who raised this query would uh, come over to coimbatore and see uh, the difference uh, what uh, you could find in coimbatore as well as other two uh, campuses so in in coimbatore in a nutshell uh, a little little more i'm not saying uh, it's a vast difference but a little more uh time uh, energy uh, and uh, infrastructure is devo devoted to uh, personal development and growth of the individuals uh, there is also a question which uh, comes from the same gentleman can you reduce the amount uh, the reduction of amount doesn't arise at all uh, certainly on a lighter note we can try and increase the uh, fee structure of both bangalore and uh, amrutapuri to match with that of uh, uh, that of coimbatore but anyway uh, there are certain uh, there are certain uh, uh, fees reduction which could be possible or a fees waiver i would say fees reduction uh, fees waiver through scholarship and to through you getting higher ranks in the aaee or the jee main examination so the second question is also answered as to why the fee structure in coimbatore is greater than the other campuses and whether we could reduce the fees of coimbatore to that of both the other campuses bangalore as well as uh, amrutapuri uh the third question is is there any discount in fee structure for high rank students in jee main and uh, class 12th of course we uh, we uh, do not uh, reduce the fees but uh, we have been providing scholarships for students 
who who do well in the entrance examination of A Tripoli as well as JEE Main. For example, if you look at both Amritapuri and Bangalore campuses, uh, we uh, have 90% uh, waiver, we have 75% waiver, we also have 50% waiver. Now, if you look at both Amritapuri and Bangalore, uh, even if you talk about 90% waiver, almost about 27 students get this benefit, both in Amritapuri and Bangalore. Even if you look at 75%, both Amritapuri as well as Bangalore gets a waiver of uh, for 27 students and for the 50% waiver in both Amritapuri and Bangalore, they get a fees uh, waiver through scholarship for about 54 students. All other 351 students will have to pay the fees of 2,40,000 per annum, which had been mentioned to you uh, during my opening remarks of this uh, query what you raised. So uh, you, you can always aim at uh, getting 90%, which means if you, uh, uh, if you, if you get the 90% waiver, uh, you will be paying only 24,000 rupees fees uh, uh, for both Amritapuri as well as in Bangalore. For Chennai, you'll be paying just about, for sorry, I'm sorry, I stand corrected, 24,000 fees for Amritapuri and 26,000 for uh, Bangalore, 30,000 for Chennai and Coimbatore. So similarly, if you look at Coimbatore, uh, we have uh, again a 90% uh, uh, you know, waiver of fees for those people who do come on the top uh, a few ranks. And uh, there are about 51 uh, seats for the 90% waiver. Again, for 51 students, for 75% waiver, uh, we have uh, we need to pay only 75,000. And for 50% waiver, for example, we charge three lakhs per annum for Amrita, uh, for uh, sorry for Coimbatore and and Chennai. Uh, a person who gets a waiver of 50% pays us only one lakh fifty thousand per annum. And the number of students who could uh, uh, hope to get the scholarship in Amrit in Coimbatore and Chennai is 102. For example, if you, sorry, the number of seats are less in Chennai, so the 90% waiver goes to 15 seats, uh, 75 goes to uh, uh, goes to 15 seats again in Chennai, and 50% uh, goes to 30 seats again in Chennai. I repeat this to uh, make you really understand as to what this waiver is all about. In Amritapuri and Bangalore, a person who scores well and comes under the 90% waiver uh, it is 27, 27 seats in both the campuses. And uh, for 75% uh, waiver, it's again 27 and 27 uh, students, uh, both in the campus of Bangalore and Amritapuri. And 50% waiver is for 54 and 54 uh, for both Bangalore and uh, Amritapuri. Now, coming to Coimbatore and Chennai, uh, it's if you look at the 90% waiver, it's for 51 seats uh, for Coimbatore and 15 seats for Chennai. And 75% waiver is again 51 seats for Coimbatore and uh, uh, 15 seats for uh, Chennai and 50% waiver it's again for one or two uh, students uh, for Ch Coimbatore and 30 students in Chennai. So I think this is a very fantastic offer the university has been giving across and I certainly uh, uh, pray to all of you that you make use of the scholarships and get on to those 90% uh, or 70% and 50%. To repeat, 90% in 90% in Amritapuri and Bangalore, it's 24, 26,000. Uh, Coimbatore is 30,000. Again, it is Chennai, 30,000. 75,000 waiver in both Amritapuri, Bangalore. Amritapuri is 60,000. Bangalore is 65,000. Coimbatore, it is 75,000. And Chennai, it is 75,000. For 50th person waiver, it's 1,20,000 in uh, Amritapuri, 1,30,000 in Bangalore, and uh, in Coim sorry, in Coimbatore, it is 1,50,000, and Chennai, it is 1,50,000. I hope I have uh, made it clear in terms of the question as to uh, uh, is there any discount in fee structure? There's no discount in fee structure. I request the students to uh, write well and uh, get those top rankings in the A E and ensure that you take the benefit of 90%, uh, 75%, as well as the 50% uh, uh, you know, waiver for the fees. Uh, yes, I think the other question is, uh, can I get scholarship up to rank 2000? Yes, I would say there are chances that you get into one of those, uh, you know, 75% uh, or 50% or 90%, there are chances, but there's no commitment from our side. Try hard and you must succeed. So the other question which I have uh, shot out is, how many marks do I need to score to get uh, a computer science or electrical branch out of 300? Please give a rough idea. Now, 
it's very difficult for me to give you as to so much you should so much ranking you must score to get uh, both cs csc as well as electrical uh, it's all based on rank and of course uh, if you look at today uh, i'm not saying the other streams are not in demand but the highest demand or the department which goes in is for computer science engineer uh, engineering i would only request that uh, you you score high ranks and uh, ensure that you get uh, the what the stream you want to as well as the campus which you, you are choosing to go ahead. So uh, it may not be uh, easy for me to tell you that will I get, you know, what scoring you must do to get into computer science stream. So work hard, do well in the examination, and uh, I'm sure you'll get the stream what you dream, as well as the campus which you have opted for. The other question is, can I get admission in Amrita if I have only 40 mark in mathematics and if I uh, if I get good rank in A Triple E, and if I complete my school in Amrita Vidyalaya, is there any priority? Uh, the minimum per aggregate what is required to qualify into uh, Amrita Vishwavidyalaya Pidam is 60% aggregate in Maths, Physics, and Chemistry. But that doesn't mean that you can score 70% uh, in Mathematics and 50% in Physics and 65% in uh, Chemistry. You wouldn't be able to get into Amrita Vishwavidyalaya Pidam because in all the three Maths, Physics, Chemistry, you must be minimum score must be 55% and the aggregate must be 60%. To 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 enlighten this, please ensure that you get 60% in all, all, all match physics chemistry I mean, combination and ensure that uh, you get an admission into Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam. So it is not, not possible for you to get uh, uh, admission into Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam if you score 60% in chemistry, 65% in physics, and 50% in mathematics, though your aggregate is 60, but you have scored less than 55% in one of those MPC subjects. So uh, ensure that you get 55 in all MPCs and ensure that the aggregate is over 60%. I hope it is clear. The other question is, how are the placements at Amrita? Which are the companies that come over for placements and what are the general packages offered by them and how much was the highest of it. I can only talk to you uh, from the 2018 results because the 2019 the placement is still on. So I would say there is a separate department in number the School of Engineering at Timadai, which takes care of placement across the uh, schools of Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam. Uh, there are over 200 companies, both national as well as international, both uh, multinationals and the national level companies come to us every year. Uh, to recruit our students from all the School of Engineering from all the four campuses. So it's 200 plus. Uh, yes, uh, they have an option uh, to get onto their dream, uh, uh, I mean, dream jobs uh, for higher packages and uh, for a job, better job profiles. The average salary, uh, if you look at the average salary, what uh, uh, was offered to the students of Amada School of Engineering from all the campuses is 5 lakhs per annum. So that's the average. And the highest. Uh, cost to the company CTC offered for 2018 batch who passed out uh, last year was 29.63 lakhs per annum. Uh, I think it's uh, it's close to about it's close to about 2.8 lakhs per month. The highest stipend when you go on for internship uh, was offered. Uh, the what was offered was about one lakh per annum. And last year's uh, last year's uh, placement uh, in terms of the percentage uh, record is 95.32 and that doesn't mean the balance uh, percentage of students have not got placed but in most of the cases that they tend to take higher education or they start their own businesses or they go uh, abroad for uh, writing GREs they go abroad to do their post-graduation so 95.32 uh, is our achievement in terms of uh, placements but I like to emphasize at another uh, at another uh, focus area in Amrita Vishwavidyapadam, especially for Amrita School of Engineering, is that uh, the CAR, Corporate Industry Relations, emphasizes and uh, takes care of individual students and make them employment ready. So we have, uh, in fact, if you analyze last year's company-wise, sector-wise, uh, we have from various sectors, starting from code to IT sector, uh, we have from telecom, we have from um, marketing, we have from product development, we have from research and development, Manufacturer, in, uh, IT, in, IT, finance bank, and uh, consultant, construction, uh, automotive. So uh, it, it's a mixture of different uh, sector-wise uh, placement which has taken place. It's not just uh, just IT companies coming and taking uh, mechanical engineers for software development. So uh, you know they all get the core companies come, the IT companies come, 
and uh, the dreams of each of the student is certainly taken care uh, during the placement. The next question is, when will be the slot of exam be given? Uh, it will be given on the April 12th, 2019. The slot booking starts again on the 12th, April 2019. Uh, April 15th is the deadline uh, to submit applications for Amrita Entrance Examination Engineering. I repeat, April 15th, 2000 is the last day for submitting the application for AEEE Amrita Entrance Examination Engineering. And uh, we have uh, computer-based tests uh, picking up from uh, April 22nd. Uh, it's, a, it's a day one with slot three. Uh, we have on April 24th, 23 is a holiday. Computer-based test again, day two there. April 25th, uh, computer-based test three. And April 26th is CBT day four. So we have four days of CBTs. Uh, you, can, you can choose your slots on the 12th April, uh, where and when. And for those people, who are aspiring to be a part of Amrita School of Engineering through the JEE main, the last date to submit the application is 15th May 2019. I repeat, the last date for submitting applications for the students who are aspiring to get admitted into Amrita School of Engineering uh, through JEE main examination is on the 15th May 2019. So the next question is, does the university provide an opportunity to study abroad directly after completing the BTEC? Why not? Uh, we have an exclusive center, which is called Amada Center for International Programs. And it offers a wide range of full-time and part-time opportunities for students, uh, the interaction with the uh, top 30, 40 universities across the world. We also have dual degree master's programs. We have uh, study abroad programs. We have internships. We have uh, summer school programs. Uh, we also have a living labs program, you know, and also join PhDs with uh, uh, quite a few uh, uh, worldwide uh, top 50 universities. And those top uh, 50 universities across the world with with whom Amrita Vishwavidya Bidam has uh, a tie-up or an MOU are like ETH Switzerland, uh, Dartmouth College USA, TM France, University of Ottawa, Canada, uh, Ryerson University, Canada, MIT USA, the world's number one uh, university. Then you have uh, Harvard University, again the top 10 university, Columbia University USA, EPFL Switzerland, Delft University of Technology Netherlands, University College uh, Maastricht, Netherlands, and uh, many more to quote and unquote here. So students who are aspiring to uh, go on to their further studies in the worldwide universities within your uh, four years of uh, uh, learning here in the campus of Amada School of Engineering, you will have opportunities to interact with the uh, worldwide uh, famous universities, which I mentioned now, and uh, you have nothing to worry about uh, having an opportunity uh, to study abroad after your BTEC, either through you or uh, uh, appearing for GRE uh, or for GMAT examinations. So the next question is, what are the process, the uh, admission process for BE BTEC at Amrita Coimbatore? The process is the same across all the four campuses. Uh, what I'm going to read out is not just exclusively for Coimbatore. It's for Coimbatore, Bangalore, Amrita as well as Chennai. So you can apply online and register for Amrita Entrance Examination Engineering. Uh, uh, choose both Amada Entrance Examination Engineering or through JMIN option. Or through JMIN option also is possible at the moment. Uh, submit your academic preference, which campus and uh, which streams uh, prior to the counseling. Register for online counseling after the publication of results. You need to register online. Uh, online counseling will take place. And unless you register, and that has to be done after the publication of your results of AEEE uh, or G main examination. Once you accept, once you once you uh, get the seat offer, uh, and if you are satisfied uh, with the allotment, uh, pay the tuition fees online. Satisfy the eligibility criteria of producing the originals of your certificates for your plus two examinations. What you had gone through. So this is a simple process which I would like to repeat again. Uh, apply online, register for Amrita Entrance Examination or G main. Submit your academic preference, which campus you would like to go in for. Uh, and of course, which brand you like to opt for, 
uh, prior to counseling. Uh, register for online counseling after the publication of results. Accept the seat offer is satisfied with allotment. You need to accept it online. Pay the tuition fees online. Satisfy uh, the eligibility criteria through producing your original certificates uh, for your plus two examinations through, through, through which you have uh, chosen to be into Amada School of Engineering. Uh, again, there's a question how to apply for BTEC. Uh, it's a repetition again. But again, a personal profile is required, your name, address, and contact details, uh, your academic profile. When I talk about the academic profile, you must be marks of the qualifying examinations here, last attended school, family profile, income details, academic program preference. That's, again, both campus and the branch which you prefer to join. Mode of admission, again, A triple E, right? Amada entrance examination engineering or through joint entrance examination main. Uh, you, you need to choose for A triple E 2009, choose examination center, date and slot. Uh, you can do it on the 12th of April. JEE mains again, enter the details as in JEE scorecard. You need to enter the details as in JEE scorecard. I'm sure each of you would have seen, people are writing the JEE main would have seen the scorecard. Please enter the details as per that. Choice of city to attend A triple E 2019 test, right? You need to uh, find out which city. Uh, you need to uh, write the test that is a CBT barring Tamil Nadu. JEE main details if opting through JEE mode, right? So you have to uh, you have to have applying with JEE and A triple E. It will cost you thousand rupees. JEE alone it will cost you three hundred, and A triple E uh, your prospectus and application will cost you thousand. Now again about Amada entrance examination engineering two thousand nineteen uh, mode of examinations. <coughs> it's again. A uh, computer-based test for uh, students who are appearing in other states other than Tamil Nadu. And uh, that's for four days with three slots. I mentioned the dates, 22 April, 24 April, 25 April, and 26 April. Uh, you have your uh, Tamil Nadu students who are appearing for A triple E will be paper and pen basis. And uh, the your exam will, uh, examination will be held on the 27th of April, 2019. And you could choose your slot on the 12th April, 2019. So each examination, uh, th this examination is for two and a half hours, right? Two and a half hours. A number of questions is 100, 30 in physics, 30 in chemistry, and 40 in mathematics. And the total marks that you would earn uh, out of the 100 is 300. And for each right answer, you'll be given three marks. And each wrong answers, you'll have a negative marking of one mark. So that is what about the examinations. So A triple E 2019 syllabus pattern and evaluations, uh, you you must you must be, uh, I would say my personal uh, personal suggestions and recommendation would be, uh, you could be strong uh, on uh, the subjects that you are taken for 11th and 12th, uh, whatever you have studied, and it'll be it'll be the it'll be almost equivalent to what you have gone through in maths, physics, chemistry in 11th as well as 12th. So just go through, wind up, and see how well. Uh, you could do in this particular examinations. So all of them will be multiple choice type. You'll be asked a question and uh, uh, the A, B, C, D, and you need to mark the right answer. So all the A, B, C, D would seem to you uh, to be true, but there is only one right answer. And that's where you need to have the speed and accuracy in this type of uh, uh, multiple choice type. So this is how the examination goes on. So I spoke to you about number of questions and mark distributions I've already explained to you. Mathematics 40. Total 120, physics 30, total 90, chemistry 30, total 90. So total questions 100, and the total marks that you can achieve is 300. And for every wrong answer, you'll be given a minus one negative marking. So applying through JEE 2019, again, I'd like to repeat, uh, applying, uh, we would take from the ranking of uh, JEE main, uh, whatever is the results which would come through. So you. Applicants are required to submit their JE rank in the scorecard for counseling. I repeat, in the same scorecard of JE rank, you need to uh, you need to submit it uh, for counseling. The rules and policies remain the same for uh, as for A triple E candidates. However, the policies will be published in detail by end 2019 April. So, uh, again, one more question on counseling and seat allocation and admissions. Uh, counseling is fully online. I repeat, counseling is fully online. Uh, candidates are offered admission uh, for an academic program based on their academic preference and based on All India ranks of JW Mains 2019 
or based on the ranks uh, secured in A two zero one nine, as preferred by the candidate through a common seat allocation process for all the four engineering campuses. So counseling involves registration of counseling by paying counseling charges, academic preference submissions, allotment of seat, acceptance of seat offered, and payment of fees and ver verification of documents. So I repeat on this, the counseling involves registration for counseling by paying counseling charges. Please note, you need to pay the counseling charges. Academic preference submissions, what, what uh, streams you would like to pick up from each of the campuses. Allotment of seat, acceptance of seat that is offered, you need to accept it. And of course, that would uh, uh, certainly land up in paying the fees online and you will be, uh, you will be verified on the documents of your plus two examinations. Again, the same questions of seat allocations. Uh, the other question is, can we expect Amrita College uh, in Chennai in the coming academic year? Yes, it's already there. Uh, I mentioned to you, we have four campuses. Uh, one is uh, Coimbatore, Bangalore. Um, uh, you have uh, <clears throat> in Kollam. Uh, we have one in uh, Chennai now. And one more thing which is not out of place for me to announce today is about uh, one more, the fifth campus coming up in Amravati. Right, Amravati in Andhra Pradesh. So the Chennai campus would commence this year and the courses that we offer there. And you must certainly know what are the courses, what are the streams that we offer. If you look at, uh, to start off with the aerospace engineering, uh, that's available here in uh, Coimbatore. Then you uh, have uh, civil engineering, it's available in Chennai as well as uh, Coimbatore. Uh, you have chemical engineering, that's only in Coimbatore. You have computer science engineering in all the four campuses, uh, Amra, um, I mean, Amrathapuri, Bangalore, Coimbatore, and uh, Chennai. Then you have uh, computer science engineering, artificial intelligence, uh, which is available in Coimbatore and Amrathapuri. Uh, you also have, uh, uh, you also have you computer communication engineering, which is available only in Coimbatore. Then, of course, you have ECE, electronic communication. In all the four campuses, uh, we have electronic computer engineering, which is available in uh, Bangalore and Amrathapuri. Uh, we also have, uh, uh, I mean, electrical electronics engineering across all the four camp campuses. Uh, we have electrical computer engineering, uh, which is available in in Amrathapuri as well as in Bangalore and. Amrathapuri. So all the three, Amrathapuri, Bangalore, and Coimbatore has, uh, you have this uh, elect electrical computer engineering. And to end up this, triple E's in all the campuses, to end up you have this um, mechanical engineering, which is again in all the four campuses. So these are the streams uh, which I thought, but in Chennai, specifically to say we have civil engineering, we have computer science engineering, we have electronics and communication engineering, we have electrical and electronics engineering, and we have mechanical engineering. Now, how to change admission? How to change admission on behalf of G mains to Amrita entrance examination? Uh, the person says, I applied through G main, but I want to convert to Amrita entrance examination. No issues at all uh, for changing this. Uh, please, uh, uh, you know, you need to apply fresh. Uh, the date is 15th April, like you can, today is only on the 7th of April. You have got one more week to go. You can apply fresh for AEE before 15th of April. Please do it today, right? You can do it on online and then so that you can have the choice of both AEEE as well as JEE. Uh, the other question is uh, NRI children studying in Gulf, how to write Amrita? I, I would request the parents to, you know, straight away uh, send the details to, I would like to share here, uh, send the details to NRI admission and amrita.edu. Uh, I would say, yes, uh, we have an NRI quota. Uh, straight, away, uh, straight away, now on your net, you please apply for admission with all the details of your child, uh, what course has he completed there, the equivalent course in India, the marks, what is equal, like if somebody is doing IB, you would get A, B, C, D, E grading, but what is B standing in terms of the Indian acceptance uh, percentage. So uh, please uh, please see that you apply as quickly as possible to nriadmissionsamrita.edu. 
So I think I've covered up uh, most of the questions and queries uh, that you had raised uh, for the last couple of weeks. And I'm sure uh, the, the talk has been fairly useful to you uh, in, in clearing all your doubts. And I'm sure, uh, you, you, I'm sure that uh, sitting here, I would like to welcome all of you to our uh, either, either one of the campuses in Chennai, Amrutapuri, Bangalore, or Pambato. So till then, good luck to you all. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Namaskar.